on the game proper today, we try to play together as a team that can play and possess the ball from defense into attack. And more than just scoring, what I wanted was a cohesive side. Because for the first time uh, in many games, we were not playing fluid football. And we wanted to really use this opportunity to enjoy ourselves, enjoy the game, and play together as a team. We achieved about 75% of that. Coach, um, we agreed that we had some possession of the ball. But do you think we had enough penetration? Um, and did we release the balls quick enough? Um, how many goals on targets? Are Those are different things. These are friendly. Those are my statistics. Friendlies are meant to work on those kind of things you're talking about. Does not mean that I have said I have a perfect team. I said I achieved in about 75% of what I wanted. The rest are the finishing. It doesn't take one or two games or one, one, one or two training sections to perfect all of those you are saying. Coach, what did you make of the sending off of Taya Taylor? Well, the, it's best uh, known by the referee. I don't uh, comment on the officiate. Um, may have really disorganized our <coughs> team a little, but again, Taya Taylor must learn to, to take it easy. He's an experienced player. At that level, I think he overreacted. If he got a red card, he need to watch it next time. But coach, this game has come and gone. Before the next World Cup qualifying match, what do we expect? Well, I don't know what you expect a coach to answer. Whether you expect me to say I will lose. Because I think in I terms of, in terms of preparation. This is the only match that can prepare us. And I've just told you that I had the opportunity to have a very good talk sessions with them. And I think mentally and psychologically too, they are really, really focused for those games beginning with March 20th. Coach, let's look at the, indiv the players individually. Which of the players would you think were outstanding in this game? What we tried to do was to collectively play as a team. So I wasn't particularly looking out for who was particularly outstanding. They, they, we, we played on the average. Everybody just supporting each other. Nobody wanted to be a little extra. I'm sure they played a very conscious game for obvious reasons. The season is still on here. Are you worried with the absence of Yakuba Egwene and Obafemi Martins? No, no, no. I'm not. You see, this team is still a new team. The Nigerian national team of today is a new team. You may be thinking that we have too many players playing abroad and playing for big teams, and you are rating us with that standard. When you come and collect them together as a national team, there is a lot to be done with these boys to be able to play the kind of football you want to see. All we are doing now is build confidence in the boys, help them to play together as a team, win some of the games no matter how it comes, not only and all that, and it enhances their confidence. And gradually when we have like two, three weeks to prepare and package it for a championship, we will correct some of these nitty gritties. What did it mean to be in South London to play the game and the passion of the fans that gave good support throughout? Yeah, I guess the support came more from the Jamaicans and the Nigerian family than uh, the main world people. I didn't understand why they couldn't fill up the stadium. But again, I guess the Nigerians and the Jamaicans enjoyed the game. You think you can take us to the promised land? Well, I'm not here to promise that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's have your point. You said you wanted to experiment tonight. You want six end up six in the qualifiers. Is there a need to experiment? Yes, definitely, because if, as, as, as much as you can understand football, is you always strive to improve. And you can see that I wanted some of the key players to come in, but the weather. I just imagined that I couldn't warm up some of the boys to come in because before they can pick with the rhythm and tempo of the game, it may, be too, it may slow us down. That's why I didn't make more of the changes because even the ones that were playing were already doing well. I need to go for it to win. But winning a friendly is for me not ultimate. I didn't break the boys because I wanted to win. And we stay with such an attack and formation in the next round of World Cup qualifiers? Or will we be pragmatic again and play defensively? No, but you see, sometimes we want to win, we go for it. Sometimes we even play defensive formation and win. The matches we won in the in away games, we have all defensive formation. It doesn't matter what formation you're using. Formation does not win matches. Time is not of the essence. 
we, we only had a short time to prepare, but you're not going to get much more time than this to prepare for the game against Mozambique. What do you hope to do different? Because, I mean, before you know it, it'll be March 29th. Nothing differently, other than keep in touch with the boys, monitor how they're doing with their clubs, and hope that they all turn up five days before a game, not a day before the we one we play today. And if we have five days, we could put some of these things we just have noticed in this game together, try to correct them, and see how we can be sharper, particularly on the fact.